Disney's D23, the ultimate Disney fan event. It kicked off yesterday in Anaheim, California. Tens of thousands of the diehard fans were there to be the first to hear about the latest in entertainment from Moana to the new Tron. And our Rebecca Jarvis, also a diehard fan, was there as everybody took the stage. Rebecca, how's it going? Quite an event. Oh, quite an event. Wait, you know it. The energy here is electric with those thousands of fans here to see their favorite stars, learn about the surprises. There were lots of exciting announcements, and we were there for all of it. So D23, are you ready? It was a night of unexpected surprises and jaw-dropping moments at D23. With some never before seen footage. Whistle while you work. It's been a all along. <laughs> Long before they became legends. Hello, what's your name? Mufasa. I want to talk about the fact that this, this film has so much history. It's been 30 years since the first Lion King, and now you have Mufasa. That is a lot. I was a baby baby when I first watched this, right? So for me, it was super dad. Mufasa was super dad. 1994 is the year me and Aaron were born. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out. So we were listening to the soundtrack from the womb. Um, <laughs> But to now be a part of it, it just feels so iconic. Blue Ivy making her debut. What's that like? Her performance, it's kind of like the glue that holds the film together in a certain way. I think because Beyonce's in the film as well, that relationship, there's just this synergy of what Blue was able to bring to the character. And I think that's really in the film. It's in the DNA of both their performances. And the sequel streak continues with the return of some very dynamic duos. <laughs> It's a freakier Friday with this iconic mother-daughter pair. We have a freakier Friday movie for you coming out next year. And, and what makes it freakier? Everything. Everything, <laughs> all of it. The switches. So what made you make that phone call to oh, Bob please. Iger, the CEO of Disney? <laughs> please. I was on a world tour. After they asked the obligatory questions about the movie I was promoting, they said, when are you making another Freaky Friday? And I realized the global reach of the movie. We can't tell you much, but Lindsay has her own 15-year-old in the movie, which makes me then the grandma. <laughs> the switch is so much, so different than the original was. It's a love it letter, mommies and daughters mommies and, and families. Yeah. It's mothers and their children. This is a love letter to them, to just being mothers and the beauty of it all. An adventure awaits with Moana and Maui returning to the big screen. I'll be back. I promise. What a crowd, uh, the biggest crowd ever for Disney's D23. The energy was amazing. And on top of all of that goodness, uh, my family came in. And that was so special to have my little girls here. My five-year-old, I'm getting major mom cred just by sitting here across from Maui. You're welcome. But how could they top the 2016 hit, You're Welcome? Can I get a chi -hu? I played them my song. In the movie, can I get a chew? I think I'm breaking the news right now on GMA. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to um, put a little music to that, a little sound to that? Let me get a, let me hear a chew. So with a song exclusive for GMA, by the way, with a um, with a song that I sing without giving uh, a lot of weight. So it just required a lot of practice. So I was running around the house singing it a lot of time. <laughs> and now in the future, we will all be running around our home singing it and hearing our kids singing it yes. as well. And in a galaxy far, far away. This is the way. It's honestly great to be making a movie again. Mm -hmm. And it's great to see everybody on the set. And now to, to take these characters and bring them to the big screen and have that scope and scale. It just feels like a, a new beginning for us. And then you have the fans. And all they want is to know as much as you can share with them ahead of time. What's the most common question you get? from fans. Oh my gosh, wow. that's, it's, it so depends. Well, we have guests come to the set, it's all about yeah. Grogu, the yeah. baby yes, Yoda. Yes, of Does Grogu grow up? Uh, <laughs> very slowly. <laughs> that is one of the questions we get, so you yes. hit one. Yeah, very will slowly. Will he talk and, and will he say his words out of order like Yoda? That's the other one. Will his first word follow his yeah, second much word? much debated that is. Back on Earth, the dawn of a new hero in Ironheart. How is Riri carrying on the legacy of Iron Man here? It's pretty undeniable that she was 
inspired. It's fun to get to play someone who sees very little limitations uh, in their self. It's also very inspiring to see how this world has gotten to take shape around her. And some familiar favorites are back in Daredevil Born Again. I'm still pinching myself. When we got that call in 2020 um, and the journey from that moment to here, you know, to keep, had to keep a secret for a year, which was unbearable. The level of performer, the level of the writing, the level of the filmmaking, to come back this way is really special for me. I was told there would be surprises. <laughs> well, what can you tell us, guys? Anything you can tell us, because people are so excited. Well, then they wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> And why not try one more spoiler? It's a decade-long adventure uh, so far. Um, so yeah, I, I am, I'm very excited, very happy to be here. I fell in love with Tron as a kid. It was one of my favorite films. I used to play the video game incessantly, and uh, I was obsessed. Before you go, everyone who walks in this room basically says the same thing. I can't really tell you anything. Like, there, I can't tell you about it. You're going to have to wait. Is there? anything you can tell us, Jared. Yeah, well, I never got around to sign my NDA, so I can tell you whatever I want to. And, uh, you know, what do you want to know? <laughs> that was very, very funny. We had such a fun night, and all the announcements continued with Pixar announcing that The Incredibles 3 is officially in the works. And the fans of D23 who are here this weekend have so much to see, including things like this. This is Lindsay Lohan's car from Herbie Fully Loaded, the 2005 movie. Guys, I think it just winked at me. Yeah, oh. I think so. <laughs> yeah, and the, the, the keys are, are under the mat. <laughs> Thank you, Rebecca. We, we appreciate it. What a list of announcements, by the way. I love how determined Rebecca is getting answers for the people. Oh, yeah, no, she was, she was getting the spoilers, all of it. She was trying. Yep, you know it. Thank you so much, Rebecca.